I want to welcome you all to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. This is going to be one of the most important episodes that I've ever done. This is part of the series Pro vs. Noob. In this episode, I'm going to teach you all how to look past marketing nonsense so that you can find the right tent for you for the conditions that you're going to face, namely in the warmer months, the three season months. There are companies out there who claim that their tents are designed for three season warm condition use when the truth is they're not. They're hoping that you have no idea what you're doing so you purchase one of those tents anyway, that you believe their claims. That, my friends, is what this episode is all about. A pro is able to look at these two tents that I have set up here and they can see a drastic difference between the two. They can tell that one tent is designed for three season use. The other tent is designed for fourth season use. But yet, both of these tents are marketed as three season shelters. Here's the thing folks, with one of these tents in warm conditions you would be comfortable. With the other you would be absolutely miserable. <laughs> I do need to say this folks, for this episode I'm not calling out any specific brands. What I'm doing here are showing two examples of tents and I'm going to show you all the feature set that you need to pay attention to so that you can make the right decision for you. So that you can look past marketing nonsense. So that you can actually go out during the warmer months and be comfortable instead of being absolutely miserable. Because the truth is this, if you purchase the wrong tent, if you take the wrong tent with you, you can have an awful time. It could even go further than that and it could be dangerous. Again, I have two tents behind me. Both of these, the company's claim, are three season tents. This one here is a three season tent. This one here is not. This tent here has a feature that would make it highly uncomfortable for three season use. In other words, for use in the warmer months. This tent here has a feature that makes it much more comfortable to use in warmer conditions. First things first, let's talk about the three season tent. We're talking about spring, summer, fall. A tent that could be used in warm conditions. Three season tents will have a primary feature and that is a ton of mesh around the inside of the body. There are tons of different designs when it comes to tents like this. Sometimes they're double wall, sometimes single wall. It doesn't matter which type of tent that we're talking about as far as the design goes, these tents have mesh. Now let's go over here and let's take a look at this three season tent. That is not truly a three season tent. From a distance, this may look like mesh, but it's not. This is fabric and there's a huge difference between mesh and fabric. This is a feature that you will find in fourth season tents. Now you may be thinking to yourself, fourth season tents, all four seasons, that's not the case. Four season tents or fourth season tents are designed to use in the winter and winter alone. And the reason for this is very simple. Fourth season tents or four season tents, whatever you wanna call them, they're simply too warm to use in the summertime. Tents that feature a fabric material instead of mesh, they are designed to do everything that you do not want your warm weather tent to do. They block the breeze. In other words, no air is going to move inside of this tent. At the same time, you're not going to release any heat. Because of this material, we're talking about limited ventilation, limited airflow. And again, this is everything that you do not want in the warmer months. You want a tent like this. When it's breezy outside, you want that air to move inside of your tent. You want it to go through the mesh, you want to feel it. At the same time, you want the tent to release all of the heat that's inside of it. It's all about airflow, it's all about ventilation. And that is why this is not a three season tent, no matter what the company claims. Or I should say this, it's not what the companies claim, because there are a ton of companies that do this, that try to sell products just like the yellow tent over there. Most of the time, these products are inexpensive in nature. And there are a ton of companies out there who make products just like this, who market them for three season use, when they're simply not suitable. We're talking about name brands, we're talking about big brands. That's why it's so important to be able to look at these shelters and tell the difference. You need to look at the designs of the tents to see if they're going to work in warm conditions like today. One of the most important things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to a business is that it's all about profits. Not every single company is this way, but the majority of them are. These companies have a single focus and it's selling you a product. And it doesn't matter if that product really is going to work best for you or not. It is up to you to know better. It's up to you to know the differences between the shelters, between the materials, and to make the right decision. They're not going to hold your hand. They're not going to tell you. In fact, everyone, it's become commonplace with tent manufacturers, tent companies, they don't even tell you anymore whether or not their tents are designed for three season use or fourth season use. They leave that up to their customers to decide. In the end, it's all about being smart and not allowing them to take advantage of you. A question that you may have is why companies use fabric instead of mesh in their three season tents. And it boils down to profits. 
This fabric material on the inside of the tent is less expensive than mesh. The easiest way for a company to sell an inexpensive product and cut as many corners as possible is to offer a tent that features fabric on the inside. Even though that fabric has properties that you simply do not want in a warm condition tent, these companies do that, and it's all about making more money for them. When it comes to fourth season tents, wintertime tents, they too will feature a fabric on the inside, but there's a difference. They are designed to hold in heat, to block airflow. It's the outside of the tent that's going to be stronger than your typical three season tent. You're talking about stronger poles, stronger fabrics, they can handle snow loading, they can handle wind, and again, you want the benefits of that fabric inner. But going to the warmer months, you don't want to hold in heat. You don't want to block airflow. And that's why you have to be wary. That's why you have to be a pro instead of a noob when it comes to selecting the right tent for you. When it comes to three season tents that have fabric inners, you need to know that they come in all different styles, makes, and designs. Some tents will have inners that are 100% fabric. Some will have combinations. Some will have fabric panels, some mesh panels, maybe a mesh door. The inner may have 25% mesh. It may have 50% mesh. No matter what, you simply do not want to have any sort of fabric on the inside because all that is going to do is block airflow. It's going to hold in heat. You have to consider this, folks. Mesh by itself blocks some wind. It holds in some heat. So if you go adding fabric, even fabric panels, you're compounding the problem. You're making it worse. Less airflow, less ventilation, warmer conditions. Again, all of this you do not want in the warmer months. When you're looking at a tent and you're considering it, you have to look past the marketing. Don't pay any attention to the key words. Lightweight, ultralight, ventilation, breathable. Pay attention to the material. Materials. Make sure that you understand what it is that you're about to purchase. When you have an understanding of this aspect of tent shelters, this is going to make you a pro. Understanding the differences between these types of tents is going to make a huge difference in your outdoor experiences. Going out on a trip, being comfortable even when it's super, super hot, it's all about the gear. It's all about the materials. It's all about the designs. You need to know what to stay away from and what to consider. And in this episode, we've gone over those points. When it comes to tents like this, tents that have a fabric inner, there is a time and a place to use them, namely in the cooler months. So you can certainly purchase a tent like this and you can use it in the spring and you can use it in the fall. You might even be able to use it in the winter time, but it's during the warmest months that you are going to really hate life inside of a tent like this. For an example, I can hop inside of it right now and it's going to be stifling in there. There's going to be absolutely no airflow. And again, it's because of the fabric. The fabric material would be doing exactly what it was designed to do. Whereas if I hopped inside of this tent, I would definitely be more comfortable. It would be warm, no doubt about it, but at least you have that mesh surrounding the entire body. That way, when the wind changes direction, you still have the wind coming underneath the fly, going inside of the tent, and it's cooling you off. It really does make a huge difference, folks, and I really do hope that this episode has helped prevent companies from preying upon those who are new to the outdoor space, those who are new to backpacking, those who are new to camping. I do have to say that I've found that higher-end companies tend to be more honest than those who are selling lower budget products. Higher end companies would call a tent like this a three plus season tent, also known as a three plus season hybrid. This is not a winter time tent, but it can be used in cold conditions. That's why it's a hybrid shelter. So again, you can use it in the cooler months in the spring, the cooler months in the fall, and possibly even in the winter time, as long as the conditions weren't bad, namely as far as like strong winds, and snow loading. Hybrid tents oftentimes tend to be good at some things, but a master of nothing. I wanna thank you all very much for tuning in for this episode of Pro versus Noob. I hope you all have found this very useful. I hope you all have found this educational. If you have enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up. It does help a lot. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.